Hello and welcome to a 7 C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. Last time I taught you something about um, switch statements. Today's tutorial is going to be about something called um, a while loop. And uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to explain what a while loop is and what it does without having a piece of, co uh, of code to show you. So um, let's create a new source file into the basic information. As usual, and uh, okay, now you create a new uh, int variable. You call it x, and you set it to um, zero this time. Now inside the engine, you type w h i l e while. You create two parameters. Set an opening and closing bracket. Now type x less than 5 c out x is less than 5 now what this actually does is that first of all it creates a new it creates a new or declares a new variable called x and its value is 0 and then say and then while means as long so now like as long as x is less than five it'll keep typing or it'll keep displaying on screen x is less than five so now let's try and compile and run it first of all save it as while in your lovely folder right here and now as you see it keeps on saying the same thing and that's exactly what we what we're supposed to do and it's going to keep operating this until we tragically Close this program like this. Possible plus, plus. Anyway, let's get back to the subject. And um, so now, what if we actually wanted to stop printing out x is less than five? Then type x plus plus. This will increment x by one each time uh, this loop is being iterated, which means that each time it x each time it prints out this x will also be incremented by one so now let's try and compile and run it now it says x is less than five one two three four five times and that's because that the while loop knows that as soon as x is no longer less than five it'll automatically stop or exit the loop so when you when x has been um, when x has been uh, incremented by one five times, x uh, will no longer be smaller than five, and then it'll automatically uh, exit this loop and therefore stop printing out this. And now, what if you change the less than sign to a bigger than sign? Try and compile and run it. Now it says nothing at all, and that's because that the while loop works kind of like the if statement too because that you know first of all it checks if x is bigger than 5 uh, here and is that no it's not so then uh, and therefore it will not execute this action as much as one time um, but you can also use more than just one uh, so now what if you would like it to actually make it work with a bigger than sign then you change x to um, 10 and change x from plus plus to minus minus now go x is greater than 5 try and compile and run it now it says x is greater than 5 1 2 3 4 5 times and that's because that now x is equal to 10 and then it says that as long as x is bigger than 5 it'll print out this but it'll also decrease x by 1 so when it's done this 5 times x will no longer be bigger than 5 and therefore it'll exit the loop but there's actually more than just one uh, data type that you can use in a, a while statement you can always uh, also use um, booleans. I don't know. I haven't taught you something about booleans yet, but a boolean is um, a variable like int that can, ho uh, instead of holding numeric values, it can hold uh, two values: true 
or false. So now type bool and we're going to call this y, set it to true. Now you erase this, x minus minus thing. Now it's say while y, and then we'll say y is true. Let's try and compile and run it, and again it just keeps on going like this for all internal for all eternity, or at least until we do like this. And now it says that as long as while is uh, no as long as a uh, y is true, it'll print out this. So to in order to make it stop, you go y equals false. Compile and run it. Now it says y is true one time. And that's because that it prints out this thing right here. And then it says y to false. And when y is no longer true, this term will no longer be true. And then it will exit the loop. So if you uh, go while and then this, if you replace y with this, it'll print. Uh, nothing and uh, now that's because that this means that while y is equal f equals to false it'll print out this and is y equals to false up here no it's equal to true so now if you type false up here compile and run it it'll keep going like this in all eternity and why is that oops that's because that it says that as long as y is false, it keeps doing this, and y is never set to true, it's only set to false, so you change this from false to true, and now you say y is false. Compile and run, and now it says it's one time because it, it prints out this, and then y is being set to true, and then this term up here is no longer true, and therefore it'll exit the, um, the loop. But actually, you can do this with string too. So now type string. I'm going to call this a W. And I don't know. And I don't know if that's correct. But uh, I can't remember the alphabet quite correctly. Now type string W equals to um, Benjamin is the best C plus plus tutor in the world. Now, oops. Now you copy this statement right here, and then you type w equals equals Benjamin is the best C++ tutor in the world. You remove this y equals true thing. Now type um, that's true. So now we create or declare a new string called w, and it's uh, equal to Benjamin is the best C++ tutor in the world, and now as long as uh, our string right here, uh, W, is exactly equal to this, it will keep printing out that's true. And as you see, it goes on like this in all eternity, and that's a good thing, because I'll always be the best C++ tutor in the world, so we don't want that to stop. Okay, we will, but... It's only to show you guys. I don't want it to stop. Anyway, now type w equals um, Benjamin is better than best. Now it'll only print out that's true one time. Because now uh, w is being set to a different value, and therefore this term up here will no longer be true, and that's why it'll exit the loop. And I suppose that's your tutorial on a uh, while loops. Next time I'll be discussing what a do loop is, and um, yep, I'll see you in my next tutorial.